Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here. It's Friday, April 26th, Fukushima Day 777. I wish I could say this is your lucky day. Uh, however, it might be your lucky video if you're still unaware of what's taking place at the uh, nuclear plant in Japan as far as the amount of radiation spewing out and how there is definitely seems to be a media blackout for anything regarding the Northern Hemisphere. So like some of you here, I'm always out looking for news on radiation. As far as Fukushima, I came to Natural News. This was posted uh, April 24th. I'd already heard about it. I decided to come read this site here, what they had to say about it. So it's about this massive uncontained leak that's taking place at the plant. There's uh, over 710 billion becquerels of radioactive material that's leaking into the ground. Um, I'll leave a link if you want to read the entire story. Um, I'm not going to concentrate on that because I got a lot more here. So I decided to go take a look at the bottom of the site here where he gets his sources. I clicked on some of the sources. The first one here was from Asia One. It talks about the 120 tons of uh, N water, which is the uh, contaminated water at the plant still leaking. If you go down a little bit further here, it talks here about the... Uh, the power company estimated that the leak water contains a total of 710 billion becquerels of radioactive sub substances. The leak is the largest ever at the plant, and that's where I think it's it's all about, folks. So they're now admitting this leak here is now uh, the, the biggest one on top of what's already occurred. And, you know, I go click on another one of his links, and it's from uh, New Science. Scientists uh, health. Oh, great. You know, it's talking about the nuclear crisis in Japan and how safe is Japan's food and water. Now, a little further down, it goes on to talk about how the Japanese government has ordered four prefectures, which is basically like a state or a province if you live in Canada, to stop selling spinach and leeks after levels of radiation above the legal limit were picked up in them. Okay, so it went above the limit, right? The limit was established and now it went over the limit, so now no more spinach and no leaks from no states. Now keep track of that because this is going to, you're going to have to connect the dots here on your own, hopefully, and you'll figure it out. So something else uh, I decide the other link he has at Natural News is his own website where he's talking about, uh, this is all Fukushima News articles and information. I decided to take a look here and you know what? There's nothing on the United States, which is sad. Very, very sad. You folks can go take a look. I'll leave a link here. You can go take a look at it for yourself. There's a the story about the U.S. Senator that went and visited the Fukushima Prefecture. But as far as radiation affecting the uh, Americans, very, very few stories. And in fact, here, I'll go as far as saying that he's actually neglecting to mention some of them. If I look at the very top here where it talks about half of the Fukushima children now having thyroid disorders. What about the U.S. Uh, uh, children? The, the recent study showed that children that were born between the first and 16th week of the nuclear meltdown had a 28% chance higher uh, risk rate of having uh, thyroid, thyroid abnormalities. So this is exactly the same thing as Fukushima, except over there it's 50%, here it's 28%. We definitely have problems here. I, I don't know what to say. You know, it, it, below it, he talks about the sky high levels of radioactivity in fish from Fukushima means inedible seafood for at least a decade. It, again, it's the Fukushima thing. I'm going to show you here. It's more than just them. So it all started off back here. Uh, it was reported from the uh, Seishu Shibu newspaper that it covers Asia and Japan. It came out on July 24, 2012, 500 days after um, the plant had been blown up here. And meltdown it said that the number one was still not out of the woods and a little further down it goes on to talk about radioactive materials it says that according to calculations by tokyo electric power company the operator of the fukushima number one plant a total of about 10 million becquerels per hour of radioactive cesium was being emitted from number one to number three reactors as of june so this was july they were saying as of june the month before, it was still spewing out 10 million becquerels every single hour. Now remember, if they're spewing out, they're only tracing one of these uh, uh, isotopes, which is cesium. There are hundreds of other radioactive isotopes that are spewing out at the same time. They just happen to be tracking one of them. Now, those of you who are f following me here on Fukushima Day 669, which was January 7th, 2013, I uploaded the same information here, how TEPCO would release on December 25th, 2012. That was Christmas Day, just a couple of days earlier. 
well, you're all celebrating Christmas, they announce again that the plants, reactors 1, 2, and 3, were still spewing out 10 million becquerels of cesium-134, 137 every single hour. Our news did not talk about it. There's a massive cover-up here on what's taking place in Canada and the U.S. If you go Google that, Fukushima Day 669, you know, and I also talked about Arnie Gunderson in that video, and I'll get back to Arnie in a second here, because he's part of that media blackout. Now, if you go to that video that I published here on January 7th, you'll see all the links down below. Click on any one of them. It talks about, look at strawberries and mushrooms that contain cesium 137 found in Northern California. Uh, they talk about uh, organic milk bought in San Francisco Bay had one uh, season 134, 137. Uh, we have all kinds of stories here where they found it in arugula, uh, the kale. Um, it's one story after another. And one of the things I mentioned here was I was always increased in the latest San Francisco test. This is part of the things here was ongoing uh, levels that continue, continue to rise. So all of a sudden, we have no more stories coming out on this stuff, yet it's still spewing out 10 million becquerels every single hour. So this, the links are down there. If any of your family members say, no, there's no food that has in it, it's all there, folks. There's even stories I've forgotten to mention, how they, they got it on the peaches. Um, God, there's was, there was a lot of stories I haven't gotten there. These are just some of them that are published. Anyways, Fukushima Day 669. Now, as far as the media blackout, I'd mentioned in that same video, Arnie Gunderson, how he's a minimizer, he's lying by omission, and the proof is here, coast to coast AM, March 23rd, 2013, go, go listen for yourself. He's the first guest, they have like four guests, he's the first one. He, he's on there for about 20 minutes, and there's 1,480 views, and there's 47 thumbs down, and five thumbs up. Hello, what's going on, folks? Why would there be so many thumbs down? It's because Ar Arnie, again is lying by omission. Everything he says in that, on that uh, Coast to Coast uh, interview, he relates it all to a Japan's problem. It's a problem in Japan. Neglecting to mention how there's studies showing that there's already 14,000 infant deaths that happened that occurred within the first year in the United States. 14,000 infant deaths. We had another study where I mentioned here how the thyroid, anyone living on the West Coast, any children born on the West Coast within the first week and 16 week were, had a 28% higher risk of uh, having these thyroid dis uh, disorders which turn into cancer. It's sad here, but uh, the thumbs up, thumbs down are proving it here. Folks are aware. They know what's going on here and it has not study here. It has not stopped here. We have a recent study that came out and it was published March uh, 12, 2013, and it said right there that there was 47 quadrillion becquerels of cesium-137 released into the Pacific from Fukushima, nearly 50 times higher than the original TEPCO estimates. This always happens, folks. You know, I, pu I published that video here, Fukushima Day 444. It was all about the tuna. The tuna they had tested here on the coast of California in August 2011. They'd only been in the water for five months after the incident. Only five months in the water after the incident, yet all 15 samples tested 10 times more radioactive. All 15 samples tested 10 times more radioactive after only being in the Pacific Ocean for five months. In August 2012, they tested the yearlings. These were uh, the salmon that were born, uh, sorry, the bluefin uh, tuna that were born in Tokyo the year of the incident. They'd been in the water for roughly over a year now. Those fish, every single one of them, tested as equally radioactive as their elder counterparts yet they'd only been in the water for a year, a little over a year. Folks, this is ongoing here. you got to keep on top of this stuff here. Stay off the tuna. Just stay off it. Please, don't eat the tuna. Tell your friends. Share this video. Now, it gets worse. It gets worse. It gets worse. Obama approves the raising the permissible levels of nuclear radiation in drinking water. Civilian cancer deaths expected to skyrocket. I'm not making this up, folks. I'll leave the links down below. Go share it with your friends. This video's got to go viral. I don't know how to make it go viral. You got to do it. Here, right here, in the soil, the P PAGs allow long-term public exposure to radiation in the amounts as high as 2,000 millirems. This would, in effect, 
increase long-standing 1 in 10,000 person cancer rate to a rate of 1 in 23 persons exposed over a 30-year period. That's only 30 years. What happens if you live 60 years? There you go. You just doubled it. So, folks, I'll leave a link. you got to share this stuff. You know, this is not the, the first time either. In the beginning, they started here. This is, you know, 2011, right on the Department of Nuclear Engineering, University of, University of California. I, I, like, oh. Honestly, I, I just, I don't know. This is so sad. This has to be getting out. You folks got to share it. And if you didn't see this one here, this is from uh, April 8th. He's an ex uh Nuclear Regulatory Commissioner. He just quit his job. A month later, he squeals, he whistles, he blows, he tells you all 104 U.S. nuclear power plants are flawed. They all have to be closed down. He even goes on to say here of all the fishy business that's going on here down below. I'll leave a link. You can go read it yourself if you want. Dr. Jacobs said that the many American reactors that had received permission from the Nuclear Commission to, um, to operate for 20 years beyond their initial 40-year license probably would not last that long. He also rejected as unfeasible changes proposed by the Commission that would allow reactor owners to apply for a second 20-year extension, meaning that some reactors would run for a total of 80 years. Unbelievable here what they're trying to pull on you folks. The guy, he quit. He's an ex-regulator. He's blowing the whistle. He's telling you, hello, wake up. All 104 nuclear plants in the U.S. are flawed. I don't know where you live in the U.S.A., but I'll leave you this map here. And every single one of those little dots is a nuclear plant. I don't know where you live, but there's a plant nearby, and it's time to wake up here, folks. They're raising the levels. You know, and it's not the first time you go look back in history and the EPA back then and fluoride, they had back in the 80s, they knew it was dangerous. Go look the summary, read the summary for yourself. Heck, I'll read it for you because honestly, in the early 1980s, the Environmental Protection Agency sought to determine the maximum level of fluoride in drinking water. This is, um, this is safe for human consumption. As part of this review, the EPA solic uh, solicited the recommendations of a Surgeon General panel of scientists and doctors. The panel conclusion were clear. Both moderate and severe dental fluorosis are adverse health effects, and the EPA should uh, enact an enforceable drinkable uh, drinking water standard no higher than 2.4 parts per million to prevent these effects from occurring. As one panel member noted, you would need rocks in your head to allow your child much more than two parts per million. Uh, unknown, um, unbeknownst to the uh, panel members, however, their conclusions were later uh, altered by pro-fluoridation officials in the Surgeon General's office. A revised gutted version of the panel report was uh, then sent to the EPA recommending that the agency classify dental fluorosis as only cosmetic effect and increase the allowable level of fluoride to four parts per million. What does fluoride do? Well, I'm not going to get into that because that's not the... Uh, the reason for this video but I hope you wake up and go do a little research on the effects of fluoride better yet subscribe stay informed folks that's it